Welcome to the class students. Today in this class, let's move on to another topic in diagrammatic, diagrammatic and graphical representation of the data that is OGIVs. In OGIVs, we have two methods. One is less than OGIV and the more than OGIV. In this class, let's see how to solve the less than OGIVs and using the OGIVs how to find the quartiles. We can find the quartiles besides percentiles also using this less than OGIVs, not more than OGIVs. Using less than OGIVs, we can find the partition value. So that type of problem we are going to solve in this class. Take down the problem first. Draw less than OQ. Draw less than OQ to the following to the following frequency distribution. Frequency distribution and locate them value of median. Hence, locate the value of median. Hence, locate the value of median. So, this is the data they have given classes. Take to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80. Next frequencies 3, 8, 14, 25, 15, 7, 2. So, this is the data they have given. For this, we have to draw the less than O gives and we have to find the median value. First, for to draw the less than O, o gives, we want only upper classes, sorry, upper classes and lower cumulative frequencies. First, find out that. First, you have to write the upper classes in this interval. In this class interval, we have to take the upper classes and LCF, that is lower cumulative frequency. So, in this class interval, the upper classes will be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So, write down that 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Next, to find the LCF, we have to find, uh, we have, you know how to find the LCFs. Again, I am repeating that procedure. First will be 3, 3 plus 8, it is 11, 3 plus 8, it is 11. Next, it is 25. Next, 50, 65, 72. Last one is 74. This is how we have uh, find the LCF and the upper limits. Upper limits. So, in this class interval, this is our lower limits and these are upper limits. Upper limits we have taken for less than O gives. Now, next step is we have to draw the graph x axis, y axis. Here we should take the class intervals. Here this is frequency. Okay. So, for this we have to for in the uh, LCF, sorry in the uh, x axis we have it should start from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Okay, and in y axis, here the lowest, here we have to see LCF, it is 3 and it is 74. So, I will take 10, 20 like that 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Okay, now we have to plot the graph versus upper limits versus LCF. We have to plot the points for upper limit and the LCFs. 20 it is 3, 20 it is 3. Next 30 it is 11, for 30 it is 11. Next for 40 it is 25, 40 it is 25. Next for 50 it is 50, 50. Next for 60 it is 65. Next 72, next is 74, 
okay this is how we have plot the points now we should join this points while we are joining the points it should start touching from the x axis and it will goes like this and this is also a free hand curve this is also a free hand curve this is how the less than o give looks the curve of a less than o, o gives looks next we have to find the median for this okay first i'll write the scale scale x axis 1 cm is equal to 10 units y axis 1 cm is equal to 10 units okay next we have to find the median to find out the median we have to calculate n by 2 it is to find the median we have to calculate n by 2 your n is equal to 74 by 2 it is 37th observation 37 so here in n n is nothing but the frequency in, in frequency we have to see the 35 36 37 so i should draw one line it should touch this curve again i should draw one perpendicular line to this x axis so that this value this is n by 2 and this value we call it as median so and that median value is 44 This is our median, and here median is equal to forty-four. Once again, I'll explain this to draw the less than hoagie uh, using this class intervals and the frequency. We have to take the upper class limits. Upper class limits I have taken, and next is I have to find the LCF. So we have found out the LCF for given frequencies. Now I have plot the graph for for upper class limits and the lcf so the curve looks like this after plotting joining the points next is we have to find the median to find the median then we have to find n by 2 n is nothing but 74 divided by 2 so it is 37th observation as we know that we will see the observations in the lcf so in this frequency 37 comes here okay so one line you have to draw it should touch the it uh, touch this curve then you perpendicularly draw one more line on this x axis so where that point will get that point we call it as the median according to this uh, curve our median value is 44 in examination you will get this type of problem for 5 marks in that time you have to write the median value because they are asking for the median otherwise you will lose one marks next problem from the following data from the following data draw so less than og and locate the value of q1 and q3 graphically less than 10 Yes, this is the problem they have given. You just look at this problem. They have given the marks and number of students. Here, the marks are in the uh, the marks the the class interval. They have not mentioned properly. They have given the less than ten, less than twenty like that. This is nothing but our upper limits. And here, 
if they are given this as upper limit then this number of students will be your LCF that is lower cumulative frequency to draw our less than OK we want upper limits and the lower cumulative frequencies so that we are directly we can draw the we can plot the points and take the draw the less than OQ. So this x axis, y axis here this will start from 0 it is class interval frequency. So it will be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And in y axis, the lowest value is 5 and the highest value is 60. So I can take 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Okay. Now for these two columns, we are started uh, plotting the points. For 10, this is nothing but our uh, upper limits. So for 10, it is 5. Next, 13. Next it is 24, 39, next uh, third, after 39 it is th 52, last one is 60. Now you join this points with a smooth curve. So this is less than or give curve. Next we are here. We have to find the Q1 and Q3 value graphically. So first I'll write on the scale, scale x axis 1 centimeter is equal to 10 units, y axis 1 centimeter is equal to 10 units. Next is we have to find Q1, to find out the Q1, Q1 is n by 4 that is 60 divided by 4 it is 15th observation 60 divided by 4 10 I think huh? yes it is 15th observation so next similarly you find out q2 sorry q3 it is 3 times n by 4 3 into 15 it is 45th observation we know where we have to locate the values observations values in the graphs in the frequency that is in the y axis. So 15 it will come here. This is our 15th observation. So draw one line it should touch the curve then draw perpendicular line to the x axis. This value is your q1 and similarly it is 45. This is 3n by 4. Again, you should draw a line and take the perpendicular line to the x-axis. This is your Q3. So, according to this, your Q1 value is Q1 is equal to 22 and Q3 is equal to 44. If you plot or use the graph sheets, you will get the exact number, exact picture so that it is easy to calculate, so that it is easy to calculate. So we have found out Q1 and Q3 graphically. So here this Q1 and Q3's observation should see in the y axis because we have taken the lower cumulative frequencies and you know when we are doing the partition values in the calculations, we will consider the, uh, we will see the observations, we will find out the observations in cumulative frequencies also in, uh, in that only. So I have taken the same thing here so that your Q1 is 22 and Q3 is 44. Next problem. Next one. Draw or give curve. Draw and or give curve for the following 
distribution and locate median q1 and q3 from the graph from the graph so first is class interval 50 to 55 55 to 60 60 to 65 65 to 70 70 to 75 55 to 80 80 to 85 85 to 90 90 to 95 95 to 100 next number of workers it is 6 10 22 32 40 44 38 26 20 and 12 so next is next step is we have to calculate the uh, we have to see we have to draw the ogive here we want to locate the median q1 and q3 values so that we have to draw less than ogives to draw the less than ogives we want uh, lower sorry upper class limits upper limits and the lcf that is lower cumulative frequencies first i will write the upper classes okay so according to this upper classes is this one that is 55 60 65 70 75 80 85 90 95 and the 100 and in number of workers we have to take the lcf the first value is 6 6 plus 10 it is 16 so 16 plus 22 38 plus 32 70 plus 40 uh, 110 plus 44 154 plus 38 192 plus 26 218 plus 20 238 plus 12 it is 250 so this is how we have find out the lcf values next is after finding this lcf and the uh, uh, upper limits next we have to draw the lower cumulative frequency x axis and the y axis 50 50 100 150 200 250 it is in y axis so first value is 55 it is 6 next 16 next one is 38 38 will comes between 0 to 50 so 30 38 next is 70 next one is 110 154 next 192 218 next 238 last one is 250 so join so this is how we have joined the points next we have to find the median q1 and q3 values so first i'll write down the uh, scale for this so scale x axis 1 centimeter is equal to 50 units y axis 1 centimeter is equal to 50 units next is to find out the median it is q2 it is uh, n by 2 n by 2 is 250 by 2 this is 125th observation for q1 it is 1 into n by 4 it is 250 by 4 it is 62.5 observation and for q3 it is 3 into n by 4 this is 3 into 62.5 this is 187.5 observation 187.5 observation first i'll mark the points for q1 it is 62.5 50 62 points 5 somewhere it will come this is our n by 2 sorry n by 4 
so I'll draw a line like this and I'll put like this next this is your Q1 next it is 125 125 will come here this is n by 2 again I'll do the same procedure this is our Q2 next is n by 4 3 n by 4 187 almost it will come here it is just an approximation not the exact one if you draw this in your graph you will get the exact values this is your q4 so simply i am drawing this so q1 is equal to 70 approximately q2 is equal to 80 approximately q3 is equal to 90 it may be 90 so these are the just approximation values so that uh, have done uh, if you solve this problem in your graph sheet definitely you will get the correct values of the quartiles or the partition values. Next class let us solve some more problems on this type. Okay. Thank you.